folks assembly video putting this GT racing gaming chair together um, you know I don't know if uh, how many parts the video will be in but uh, we'll at least do what we can do in this video and then uh, there's a part two it'll say so this doesn't uh, I bought one of these before my kid it seemed like a a better chair than this one this appears to be the the low end of the GT racing chairs um, you know it's got this kind of armrest on it so not going to be anything spectacular but uh, here we are we've got the the base putting the little legs in that will hold the rollers or casters whatever you want to refer to them as so that's in right now, instructions say grab a T, letter T screw, so uh, let's see here, yeah. this is not that order, this is where maybe I should have got my glasses, folks, um, M620, there's five of them, so that's perfect, and what else do you need, this has got a, uh, this needs a Allen wrench or the included Allen wrench. Looks like this Allen wrench will be good for all these. And unlike a lot of the stuff I've been buying recently, they didn't give me one with a handle, right? So uh, always a good idea, folks, to put these in um, using your fingers first. Now, interesting enough, it looks like there's some, um, maybe some issues with alignment, which sucks. Um, probably not a good idea to do that on this nice countertop, but you got to do what you got to do to get, get it going, okay? So you're going to use your... Allen wrench with a handle. Tighten that down. I would suggest uh, what I just did, you know, doing it on a on the floor. Wood table. Maybe not a wood table. Concrete. Maybe not concrete either. Might scratch it. Um gosh. Find something folks that's not gonna deform. Not going to get deformed after you do it um, or scuff up your chair. Yeah, so this was made in China. Um, there's probably some nicer chairs out there, but this brand is usually pretty good. And hopefully you guys will watch this to the end of the videos. Now I did, um, I did buy one of these way back that has really been popular so thank you to everybody that watched that one uh, I didn't really want one that had a foot rest on it which this does um, it's not going to really probably get used by me because it's just too uh, not going to be really sturdy enough I think for somebody my size so we got uh, we got a little issue with lo and behold this screw, which is unfortunate. Hopefully it's not cross threading. Um, you really need to get these screws all the way in here. So potentially we have either a bad leg. Honestly, it appears this thing was put in oriented the wrong direction. Uh, so that's not good. I'm just going to see if we can get it to screw in this way, which it looks like it's going to work. So we'll try again. Now, somewhere here they say to put the casters on these. We'll probably do that 
uh, earlier than later since we've got this already in position. You know, because why wait, right? All right, so that was a good idea to pull this thing out of here and work out a little bit more. Um, and it's still not going all the way in, but at least I feel a little bit better about it. So I'm going to keep cranking on it. That's in there pretty good now. So we'll go ahead and put the wheels on it. Step two, insert the casters. And the casters are blowing <coughs> black and blue. Um, so you're going to you know, use your body weight to pop those in. Easy enough. Some of you might have problems because, let's face it, not everybody is strong as me. So you might have problems, but I think for the most part, you guys will get those in easy enough. And, you know, probably haven't even seen anything I've done this past couple minutes. That's in the way. I try to do this on the table and get an overhead view. One, so it's more comfortable for myself. And two, so that hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and quite obviously, <coughs> sometimes that doesn't always work out. Alright, so now we're probably going to need the uh, gas lift at this point. And then the cheap plastic uh, telescoping device that goes over it. So this thing is, is pretty cheap, folks. Uh, at least this part is. But, you know, not uncommon, right? Uh, question is, which side goes which way? Uh, silver part faces the sky. Then this guy goes over top of it, like yay. So you got that gas lift and I call it the telescoping device, but it's called a dust cover. All right. So now that we have that, install the mechanism and foot rest rails. Um, so it looks like we're going to start building up the, the bottom of the chair, folks. Um, let's go ahead and move some things out of the way. We don't currently need this at the moment, so I'm going to move this to a different spot on the counter. You do need this. You know, most of these chairs, with proper lighting, proper directions, you can get them done in a half hour or so. Uh, so we are looking for part M. So that appears to be these little gizmos that appear they're going to go there. And we want to orient this like the directions are. So let's uh, flip this around. Now part M is going to be held in place with uh, part W which is M6 by 30. There are exactly four of these folks, so this is good. They should make life easier. So we're going to try and get, get these going. And the camera angle, folks, is reversed, just so you know. And I'm going to 
start trying to get one of these going finger tight over here. Just trying to make these. Sometimes, you know, it pays off. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, trying to get this one going. So, um, tighten this. I'm also finger tightening the other. And just trying to save time. Um, now, <clears throat> hopefully these go in only one way, folks. But it appears the slots are, are one way. So, um, for the most part, it looks like it's a symmetrical part, except for the slot. Um, this is what's going to hold your footrest in it, it would appear. on that <clears throat> next thing we're gonna grab is interesting enough part C which is the mechanism but uh, doesn't say anything about the screws you're gonna put the mechanism in with <laughs> um, Now this would appear that it can go in only one way. Um, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it would appear this is the way it's going in. So now the question is. We have to wait till we get to the next part of the directions to find out how to put these screws in. This is goofy. So it would appear there are um, potentially missing directions. <laughs> it never tells you what bolts to put in. So the next part that goes in is these guys, um, and they are, I don't know if these are symmetrical or not, nothing worse than when you don't know whether something's symmetrical. Um, wow, this one looks bent. Okay, there we go. So we can tell by reading directions that this this guy goes in there like so. Um, it would appear the same bolts would be used. M6 by 25. So you're going to need eight of those total. And M6 by 25. So there are. I don't know that there's enough folks to hold the whole thing down. Um, this may turn in one of those places where you go, you know what? I might have to uh, I have to take a little break. Uh, good chance we're going to use the M M6 by 30s to hold those in, but we'll know we'll know at some point. It's <laughs> just not at the moment. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So these holes are slotted, and it would appear if you want some adjustment to get these further away from you, 
this is the time to do it. If you're skinny, like most of you little teenagers, gaming teenagers are, you know, maybe you bring it in uh, closer to the body, right? If you're heavy, big, big heavy guy, um, maybe you push them out further. That's what I'm going to try to do. So we do, we do only have four of these. These would have been perfect if we had a total of six more. Um, and that's really where the, the question is at the moment, folks. We need six to hold this uh, mechanism down. And I'm either blind as you know what, or you know what one or the other so they said you know put this on a box um, you can do that where you can uh, put it on a corner on a counter like I'm gonna do and be able to Get these in now most likely the break at the break um, in this video because there will be a part two we will figure out these uh, bolts I might have to do some math they did include uh, spare parts, which is nice. But, um, you know, there's a couple places where the, the bolts or the retaining nuts in these parts are a little suspect. So this was a really professionally done instruction manual. Unfortunately, um, you know, sometimes even professionals screw these things up. So I don't know if this is a Chinese uh, design or it was just made in China. Okay, so on the other end of this thing is a, it would appear M6 by 30 they're using. Um, and they're using washers. Interesting enough, I'm going to have to figure this out. There are four M6 by 30s, four M6 by 20s, four M6 by 22s, another set of M6 by 20s. Um, and I definitely need, I'm going to see here how many, it's really weird. So part O, O, excuse me. P are very similar. So 
still installed the armrest. And you know, we can do, um, we could put the armrests on right now. We'll be out of order, but uh, just to figure out where the missing parts are. So I see M6 by 20. There's an M8 by 20. Okay, those are M8s. So we may not have an option here, folks, but to try and uh, put some of the other parts on just so we can figure it out. So I'm going to go ahead and put these armrests on. These are U, part U. And then after this, this will be where I break until I figure out exactly what is going on here. So that is not bolted down, but we can do these. And interesting enough, which way do these go? Probably the skinny side out, I would say. So we'll do rest this up against this chair. You guys can see what I'm doing. So the back is this way, so we want this pointing away from it. kind of interesting shape here uh, we'll come in from a different angle this bottom one but it's like putting a round shape in a rectangular an oval shape in a rectangular box or cut out whatever you want to call it so that works. And we'll come do the other side. Good news is when we come back for part two of this, folks, we will definitely not have as many parts. So the back back is this side, okay, which the narrower side, I'm assuming, goes that direction. So that thing rotates. Alright, that's the end for uh, part one, folks.